Okay, guys, this week we have a special podcast. I'm without my Rachel, but I have my Ashley. <laughs> uh, today our cards are puberty, ghosts, Ooh. and pulling out. <laughs> what a fun uh, little three. <laughs> little three things we got. Random. Love so it. Random. <laughs> Which one do you want to talk uh, about first? Let's start with uh, Ghost, since it's so close to October. Oh, it is. Yeah. Time flies. <laughs> Damn. I feel like we're on like, a late night PR show. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I get pissed off. Like This is it. This is more about Halloween, though, when I see <laughs> Halloween candy at the end of August. I just want to throw the aisles down and push everything and be like, fuck you. There's still September, damn it. Listen, I agree. As somebody who used to be a Hallmark card stalker. Used to be. Used to be. <laughs> <laughs> like, maybe like six or seven years ago, I used to change the displays for card companies in Walmart. What? Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah. Fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> and like, so you would always have to be like legit. The day after Christmas, we would have to go in ass early Mm. and tear down the Christmas decorate, like all the displays, cardboard cutouts, take all the cards and then put up Valentine's Day. So, yes, (laughs) like literally July 4th. Who's that proactive? (laughs) Did you see any ghosts? (laughs) We just got on a tangent. (laughs) Fuck you, holidays. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Talk forever about that bullshit. I'm gonna pull that fucking card out tonight. <laughs> All right, fuck you, holidays. We're gonna revisit this card, <laughs> and I'll be back for that. <laughs> oh man, well, ghosts. You know, it just depends on like beliefs. You know, some people are like super skeptical. They're like, "There's no scientific proof that ghosts exist." <laughs> I was like, "Have you ever fucking watched an episode of Ghost Adventures?" <laughs> Girl, Zach- that's the worst. <laughs> Example. Zach, Zach's abs. Tight, tight shirt. Tight makes you believe in ghosts. <laughs> we fucking believe. Oh my god! Every time he pulls out those thick rim black glasses. Oh. <laughs> wow, Ashley. <laughs> That'd be an argument for like female watchers and those who are into that, like the straight and guys that don't give a fuck are like. Bitch, no. No, I do not believe. Well, I, I believe in ghosts since growing up because it's just always been like a part of my life. Mm-hmm. Just kind of always seen shit randomly. When's the first time you saw something? Um, my first memory of seeing a ghost was actually like when f- first grade. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> yeah, it's but it's a vivid memory mm-hmm. of mine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we just tried to do a short like <laughs> eye eye conversation to each other, <laughs> and it ended up so weird. <laughs> but I but I get you. But I I understood. But. <laughs> Just like, what? Anyway. Anyway. (laughs) Um, And I was homesick, and I was watching TV Mm -hmm. um, upstairs, and I just remember looking over, and just like a full-body apparition of my childhood dog appeared and then just dissipated. Is that in Ohio? Yeah. (coughs) You might not think about this, but Ohio is very haunted. (laughs) (laughs) What else does Ohio have? (laughs) Has has ghosts. Uh huh. Um, white people. White people. Dave Chappelle. Dave. Oddly. Yeah, and uh, the shittiest sports teams you can find. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it just kind of progressed from there. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that would be so crazy to see that so young. <laughs> Um, so crazy that would be yeah. fucking freaky because if I saw some shit like that in the first grade I just don't know you turn into that kid kid from um 
At one movie, I see dead people. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm <laughs> flipping my shit. Yo, talk to a dead uh, detective that will help me. Be like, yo, oh, man, I need you. <laughs> I see dead people. Yeah. That was such a great twist. That was a great movie. He saw ghosts. Well, yeah, yeah I guess they're ghosts. Dead people. Yeah. But your ghost was an animal, so that's even more interesting. It is. This is I've seen animals, and I've, I've obviously seen humans. Yeah. <laughs> like, I wonder if it was, like, a human spirit that just morphed into a dog, or was it really your dog spirit? He was, like... It was just such a specific, hey, like, yeah. dog in my life, so... That's crazy. And then, um... When my parents got divorced, I moved into this town, uh, this house in Akron, and it's, uh, we moved in, and I, my mom didn't tell me anything about the house, like, we just knew, like, this was, like, our new house, new beginnings, Mm -hmm. and, uh, about six months in, I kind of was sitting watching TV, and there was, like, a big bay window and, like, a screen door right next to each other. And you couldn't walk by the bay window without walking past the screen door. Right. Or you would just be continuously in view of the window. But so I'm just sitting there watching probably like some good cartoon network. And then (laughs) I just see this older man walk by the bay window. And he never walked. Outside or inside? Outside. Uh. And I remember him. He had tan skin white hair Mm -hmm. like he was wearing like a green little cardigan (laughs) he had some fashion (laughs) (laughs) and he just walked by and he never walked by the door i got up i looked out the screen door i looked out the bay window and i just didn't know where this man went and it just progressed from there all the sightings and activity yeah (laughs) and he just kind of um my mom told me about a year and a half in after that that uh, the man who owned the house before mm-hmm. uh, fell down the basement stairs and died. So, oh, and man. she didn't want to tell me because it would freak me out. <laughs> well, too late, bitch. <laughs> you missed that mark. God damn it, I'm Amanda. Out already. <laughs> That's I could have been prepped. Did you ever see a picture of that dude? No, I've never tried mm-hmm. to find a picture. I should do that. Yeah, <laughs> I See should. If that was him because crazy. It I'd, probably was. He's just like, uh, who's these people? <laughs> <laughs> this annoying this is really ass kid house. going through puberty. <laughs> <laughs> Awful. But that is our next card. It is the joys of puberty. The puberty. This is brought up because if anybody else out there is a huge fan of Big Mouth, yeah. <laughs> comes back October third yeah. or fourth. One of those. One of those. <laughs> <laughs> Favorite show ever. It's so good because it's so right. It doesn't Legit. sugarcoat anything. Exactly because puberty is all about awkward bullshit and like for girls it's about cramps and hating literally every like that's yeah. when you start to hate everything. And then, like, I, like, relate to Jesse because that's when my parents got divorced is right, like, in that time frame. I was like, bitch, I got you. I was like, (laughs) I know. I understand. I'm seeing dead people. My parents are getting a divorce. (laughs) Life is shit. (laughs) It's like, I was there, bitch. I was there. (laughs) And, like... I remember, like, I my first period horror story. Mm-hmm. Like, I, it's really true. You have like a couple things that like you'll definitely have a horror story for. One is getting your period for the first time if you're mm-hmm. a girl, and the time you lost your virginity. <laughs> <laughs> it's just awful. <laughs> Legit. But I was at like a family friend's house, but I had like a huge crush on the middle brother, mm-hmm. Jake. Mm-hmm. Oh, middle brother. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah like in the middle oh uh, yeah <laughs> and so i had to think about it for a second <laughs> and so i went over there and we were uh it was like early in the fall and we were all hanging out and i didn't feel good so i went mm-hmm. to go take a shower and i looked down and bam there it was <laughs> And so I put my clothes back on instead of just taking a shower. <laughs> and went downstairs and showed my and told my mom was like, "Mom, 
I'm bleeding in right. front of the whole kitchen of adults. <laughs> so <laughs> no shame. Was, like, hey bitch. <laughs> so mom and then his mom took me upstairs. They were really nice. They explained Aww. it all and they get let me shower. So I got a shower and none of the kids knew at this point, but I guess mm-hmm. uh I don't remember who it was, but somebody had a big fucking mouth so fuck you whoever it is you know who you are and just just decided to tell everybody in the house that i got my first period including the guy i had a huge crush on and it was mortifying but just to know that i probably should have like married this dude because he came up to me and told me it was okay and that he thinks that's totally cool and normal and i was like <laughs> so he's an sweet ally. <laughs> so sweet he's an ally oh man it's like being a kid or well growing through puberty like having your pe- period is the worst thing ever and then when you start having sex you're like yay my period <laughs> like i still hate Legit. you bitch but yay i can't wait for that bitch to come next month <laughs> right it's like hey confirmation even though that's not always confirmation like you can still have your period all right medical bitch look (laughs) but look for me i'm just like "Ah." (laughs) no babies (laughs) but definitely growing going through that phase because you're just like because girls don't talk to each other about that yet because we're like still ashamed of it so it's like we're so judgy like i'm like fucking period but i want to talk to her about it because i don't know she has her period and blah 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 <laughs> it's just like bruh you know like when you're in, sucks it does and you know like when you're in high school and like middle school your teacher is like you have to ask your fucking teachers to go change your tampon that's so fucking awkward yeah they're like you've already been to the bathroom i'm like bitch i got my oh, I gotta go. <laughs> it's like you gotta walk up and be like and then my period let me go and then also like i don't know like when i was in middle school and not until like late high school i didn't wear tampons Mm -hmm. i always just wore pads so you know that shit leaked all the time oh god (laughs) pads you gotta start off on pads though because you don't know that whole tampon area life (laughs) you you haven't put a you haven't tried to a, a diaper. Yeah, like, you hey, haven't. You just got out of these, but here's some more diapers. <laughs> Basically, so you got to make the diaper to sleep in. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Those overnight pads are redonkulous. They go like from belly button to ass crack. <laughs> it's like yo. <laughs> I mean, I guess I do need this much protection, but that's ridiculous. <laughs> I don't want to be reminded that I sleep wild as fuck. So. <laughs> I was like, bitch, I got you from your belly button to your ass crack. <laughs> I'm never going to let you down. <laughs> never never going to keep you, you up. <laughs> never going to let you down. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Musical rendition from Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> Music night. Yeah, no, but it's wild life yeah <laughs> puberty, puberty. and then like you you're working up you're becoming an adult mm-hmm. and then also like periods mean babies you're becoming mm-hmm. an adult mm-hmm. you're getting your first sexual encounters and there's like a whole uh, other list of shit you have to worry about exactly. with sex <sighs> like the age-old thing of pulling out pulling out <laughs> The old contraception that's still uh, done today. <laughs> it's not. Just it's never not gone effective. out of style. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not effective. <laughs> no. But I don't know. Uh, it depends, though, because your dude's got to have a good pullout game. He does. <laughs> so, like, if you don't know, though, and he like he doesn't say anything, it's like, nah, bruh. <laughs> We're not risking the shit. Because yeah. <laughs> it's not all on the female to be uh, taking crazy amounts of hormones just to not have kids. It's like, no, dude, you gotta you gotta put your half in. You either wear this condom or you have, like, the best pull-out game ever. Condoms. Like, the condoms. <laughs> it's Legit. like, dude, no, we cannot risk shit here. 
I highly recommend if you've never fucked that dick before, you use some kind of protection. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Definitely. My, uh, my sister would kill me for telling this story, but who cares? <laughs> um, so one night, uh, my sister got pregnant, and she a beautiful. I have a beautiful niece. Her name is Charlotte, yeah. and she uh, was using the pullout method mm-hmm. at the time, and that's how she got pregnant. <laughs> well, about six months after she had Charlotte, I was having a conversation with my brother-in-law, mm-hmm. and he sits me down, and we're talking about it, and I'm there debating now on having a second kid and blah 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 yeah. and so i'm like <laughs> just enjoying the combo and he just whips out and you know ashley charlotte would have never happened if i didn't allow it because i have amazing self-control <laughs> obviously <laughs> and i was like not <laughs> and i was like that's a lot of fucking information <laughs> for real like ew <laughs> we're like brother and sister now do not ever ever talk about the shit to me i was like either one you're telling the truth and that's just disgusting or two you're just trying to hide that your pullout game is weak <laughs> it's so weak it has to be which i don't weak sauce which i don't know why you would tell your sister-in-law that but yeah that's weird that is yeah, weird a weird open <laughs> he is only me too he doesn't talk this way to my fucking brother it's just me <laughs> like be like boundaries, dude. Boundaries. That's probably why he doesn't talk to your brother like that. <laughs> My brother he like, knows what? your brother. Yeah, your brother be like, stare him down. Like, don't you <laughs> ever, ever say this to me? Any type of sexual information. Keep that shit to yourself. But I will say it makes a lot of sense why um, my sister's married to him because my sister refers to uh, blowjobs as dick love. <laughs> Yeah, uh. it sounds so pleasant. Actually, <laughs> I think she might be onto something because it doesn't sound so pleasant. Hmm. Dick love. You're That's giving. Like, I don't even know. I would not think of blowjobs, but I guess you know. Hmm. Because you're giving love to that dick. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. She might be on to something. That should be on a Hallmark card. <laughs> Happy Give me that dick love. <laughs> Roses are red. Violets are blue. I want that dick love. What about you? What about you? <laughs> Hallmark, hit me up. <laughs> oh, shit. 50 cents a card. <laughs> They don't even have to be that weird. It's not even 50 cents anymore. Their cards are like fucking $6. I know. That's what I was saying. They could be the cheapest shit ever. Like, people (laughs) would buy that shit up. (laughs) No. (laughs) It's licensed. Don't try to steal it. (laughs) (laughs) Copyright right here, bitch. Copyright right here. (laughs) Give you that dick love. It doesn't seem like a girl would say that, though. That seems like a guy's thing. Like, hey, bitch, you want this dick love? And you're like, oh. Maybe. Maybe. (laughs) (laughs) Since you said it like that. If if I believe in myself. (laughs) I can have the dick love, too. (laughs) Good good job, (laughs) baby. You know that? (laughs) Uh, one of my favorite vines is that uh, one girl where he goes, baby, you know what time of year it is? It's Valentine's Day. And she comes in and she slaps the sword and she goes, ooh, I'm going to suck the soul out of you. <laughs> yes. It's like, that's like, real shit. Like, yes. what other days other than your birthday and possibly Valentine's Day do you get your dick sucked like that? <laughs> Never. Never. Because that like, birthday and Valentine's Day, or anniversary, more than Valentine's I don't know. I hate Valentine's Day. I would say more anniversary. And birthday. And birthday. <laughs> There's been songs about that. <laughs> because you know on your birthday, he's got to show you that pussy look. <laughs> <laughs> that pussy I'm just trying to trademark things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Do you have 
have any more pulling out stories. <laughs> um, <laughs> or we dig game. <laughs> I mean, like, I personally have had a relationship where we use the pull out method a lot. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and like I didn't get on birth control until like the second or third time we had sex and I was like, all right. Yeah. <laughs> I don't really know if this guy has exactly. such strong okay. It's like yeah things can go south. But you should always have like that backup, definitely. But we support Planned Parenthood. Too, damn it. <laughs> we support Planned Parenthood birth control. Yeah. <laughs> birth control for all bitches. That's how it should be. If I ever run for president, that's going to be my platform. That birth exact wording for too. All bitches. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Ashley, twenty twenty four. Oh man, <laughs> I gotta get over twenty twenty first. Oh shit. All right, guys. I think we have satisfied the cards. Thank you, Ashley, for joining me. Thank you for having me. (laughs) All right, guys. We'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.